Blackhurst Asylum for Unwed Mothers, Cornwall, England, January 6, 1962. The place smells of sickness and damp, of tears and misery and shame. Alice places a hand on her belly as the familiar flutter comes again, soft beatings like an angel's wings against her insides. Her baby. Her angel. The wave of sickness comes next, as it always does after the flutterings, a clammy surge of heat and nausea that threatens to buckle her knees. She swallows it down, scrubs the sudden moistness from her palms, and turns one last time to glance over her shoulder, praying Mam has changed her mind about leaving her in this terrible place, with its cold walls and colder faces. She hasn't. This way, girl, comes a disembodied voice from the nameless black-clad nun in front of her. There's more here than just you to tend, so be quick. Tears threaten again, scorching lids already raw with days of crying, of begging, of pleading. Alice blinks them away, then drags a hand over her eyes for good measure. She has found no mercy at home, and she'll find none here. So what good are her tears? She won't cry again, not for Mem or for Senin Cove either, with its sweeping coast and Cornish blue sea. Or even for Johnny, who is long past tears now, lost somewhere at the bottom of the sea he loved so well. And tears aren't good for the baby. Besides, her heart is too torn to think of Johnny just now, too hollowed out by the terrible words her mother has flung at her. Words meant to judge and shame. Words Alice can never forget. Never forgive. The nameless sister is moving away now. Alice has no choice but to scurry after her. The nun's feet are invisible beneath the folds of her black habit, strangely silent on the uneven stone floor. 